Hey guys, this is Justin Figueroa with Thrustflight, and today we'll be talking about three common acronyms that you need to know in aviation. So the first acronym we'll be talking about today is PAVE. So PAVE is your personal minimums checklist. So first we'll talk about pilot. So as a pilot, you need to make sure that you are okay to fly. You need to make sure that you feel well, that you ate, that you slept the night before, uh, and you have your eight hours of sleep, right? Uh, it also can, includes a lot of different stuff. As a pilot, you want to make sure you have all your documents, your medical, your pilot certificate, your uh, government photo issued ID, all the different things that you need in order to be in the aircraft legally. Um, as far as the uh, pilot side of things, you need to remember that you not only bring yourself to the aircraft, but you also have to bring your documents just like in the car. Uh, if you ever get pulled over, you need to have your documents and that's how we are. Uh, as far as when it comes to a plane, we need our documents to fly as well. So A is for aircraft. Aircraft, we're gonna need our maintenance logs. We're gonna make sure all the lights in the aircraft is good. The actual pre-flight is done. Um, also, we have documents we have to con be considered. Uh, we have to think about our inspections, inspections in the aircraft, and also the documents that are required in the aircraft before we go fly. We have V. V is gonna be in the environment. So that has to do a lot about the weather. Right, so we're looking at the winds that day. We're looking at if it's ice, if it's if it's a cold day, a warm day, if there's thunderstorms, uh, what direction that the winds are, are turning. Uh, every little different aspect of weather, that's what environment is talking about. So before you take off for the day, we can't just go and take off in any type of weather. We have to make sure that the weather is good for the day. E is for external pressure. External pressure comes in many different ways. Right? External pressure could come from your boss telling you, hey, you have to be, you have to go. You have to make it to your destination. Or it could be your mom on, uh, at Thanksgiving waiting for you to get there, right? And there's a, there could be a, a storm rolling in and you have to think about the external pressures of like, should I go? And I, I, more, I have more pressure underneath my belt when someone's trying to tell me, hey, I should go, even though that there's a personal minimums for yourself and what you should go and what you should consider before you go. So that acronym is our PAVE checklist, our personal minimums uh, list of things that we need to make sure to consider before we go fly. The next acronym we'll be talking about today will be GUMPS, a pre-landing checklist. So first, when we talk about GUMPS, the reason why we're talking about it is because now we're getting into a pre-landing configuration and we wanna make sure that we have all the things before we land the aircraft. So first we'll talk about gas. So gas, we wanna make sure that we have the fuel selector on the highest fuel count, right? So we wanna make sure that our fuel selector is on the right tank. So next we're gonna talk about U. So U, we have to make sure our flaps are down for the right configuration for the aircraft. And then we have to make sure that our landing gear is down as well. We wanna land the plane, right? So M is gonna be our mixture. We wanna make sure that we have full mixture as we're coming into land. And then P is for propeller. So we wanna check our propellers RPM to make sure that it's the right configuration. So the last one's gonna be S, and we wanna make sure we're looking for our speed. So speed check, right? Making sure we're at the right speeds coming from downwind, base to final. So this last one is gonna be more of a memory tool, and it's gonna be the five W's we'll be talking about today. So when you call an ATC, there's a certain process that you say before you go in, right? And there's a lot of jibber drivers that comes on on the radio, so you have to figure out a flow to be able to communicate with them. The first one we're gonna, talk about is gonna be the first W. So who are you talking to? The next one is gonna be who you are, so they know who, who is talking to them. Um, where are you at is also what they wanna know next. And then what are your intentions going in to their airspace? And the last one, the last W is gonna be what information if you have the weather for the airport that you're going to. And that's how you would talk to ATC going into some busy airspaces. So guys, that wraps up today's video about using acronyms and memory tools in aviation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on some future videos. And also smash that notification bell down below.